You hear about this, but let me just release this in this room so you can get it. Genesis 126, God said, let us make man our own image and likeness and give him what? Dominion. Amen. There's a Hebrew word named Mamlaka. It means royal rule, royalty. It means it means divine power. We have the divine power to rule this earth. Okay? Yes, and so what happened is that we're queens and we're kings. That's the truth of the matter. We're not paupers begging people. <laughs> Really? Now, this is what religious people, and it's difficult to teach this to people who are so in religion because they don't want to be free uh -huh. because they love the religion. But the truth of the matter is that we are very much so God on the earth. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. It sounds crazy, right? Now. I'm not God. I'm just, I'm just a poor pilgrim. No, you're poor. I'm not poor. I am God on the earth. I'm not supreme God. I'm like God Jr. You know what I'm saying? He's the supreme God. I'm talking about Jehovah. I'm talking about Jehovah God. Yeah. He's supreme. But watch this. While the world is worried about Rockaware and Gucci and this and that and, and all. And I'm wrong with the different designers. But I always tell people this. Go like this here. You're designed by Jehovah. Uh -huh. you, the very making of who you are is designed by God Almighty. Uh -huh. So we're greater than any other type of, uh, of you know, replica or anything. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we are made of the fabric of God. We are very much who he is. That's why I start telling people. You can't just told and quote the Bible. You got to live it to give it. Huh? We're supposed to be living epistles. So as we're eating the word, right? Now, I don't mean put syrup on it and acting it. I mean, but listen, as we as we take in this word, we're striving to be more like the Father. Amen. Yeah. So we're living to be like God. Yeah. So that's why God trusts us with dominion to rule over every people thing. Now, let me get an answer. Why there's so many ministries. They break up. They fall out. Because man desire to have dominion over other men. Uh-huh. And, and if I'm going to have dominion over you and you're a king and I'm a king, watch this, right. I got to shut you down yeah. and I got to make you submit to me and my kingship. That's what ministries do. Yeah. I make you, well, I prove it to you. The number three question, top three, three questions most religious people ask, what's your name, what's your church you go to, who's your bishop, and where's your apostolic cake? They always ask you these three questions. What church, your affiliation. Uh-huh. They might as yeah. well say you're blood of Christ. Exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. You spend time, people say, do you know Jesus? Mm -hmm. Are you born again? Uh -huh. Because if you kingdom connected, we already won. Yeah. All right. Exactly. And truth be told, when God connects you with a man or woman of God, now this is my marketplace, but this is important. Yeah. When God connects you with a man or woman of God, the man or woman of God you connected with, they may not do nothing for me ever in a lifetime. Uh -huh. The man of God that's in my life, a woman of God, my life, they may not never do nothing. Watch well, it. They may not even check for you. Uh-huh. We have a relationship. I acknowledge you. But you may walk in the room and my pastor can be here. He may not say nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Is that a reflection on me? No. no. Because, see, God ordains people for people. Yeah. He ordained Ananias and fixed his heart to receive Saul so he get his sight. Yeah. He knew his reputation. Man, that's dude killing him. Never. He said, look, do what I tell you to do. He fixed his heart to receive him. Uh -huh. So when we connect, you can't just connect with everybody. Uh -huh. that's right. uh -huh. Because it's just like this. You ever walk in a room, you go like this here, but no light come on. They go, hear that sound? Click. But no light comes on. You ever walk in the room and do that? That's because most people think it's power in the clicks. Mm -hmm. This is my click. We together. Yeah, we yeah, I'm down with them. This is my click. Yeah, yeah we're gonna do this. And, and we're we're overnight blunders. Yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. But there's no power in the click. If there was power in the click, we would see manifestation. But the light don't come on when we do the click. See? Mm -hmm. The power is behind the wall. It's mm -hmm. the connection. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to see the switch all the time to see the change, to see the manifestation. If we connected, you could be you could be on the other side of the world. If we connected, we're connected. Exactly. And as far as the fivefold, you may be a teacher, apostle. But I'm not the only apostle, Mark Blaze about. The truth be told, my prayer is God, let your sons and daughters answer the call of God in their life. Uh -huh. Studio time, that's the easiest thing. Let me tell you something. If you take dominion over this earth and we kingdom connect. There's studios because the favor of God is on my life. You may have 10, 20 hours. You might have 100 hours. You may have 50 hours. People that need studio time, you say, Apostle, look, I got this artist I need to give him the studio. And I get on the phone, make a phone call. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I, I need y'all to take care of these artists, man. They're they awesome, man. They love the Lord. They're really going to do something great for the kingdom. I need them to have some studio time. Because the favor of God is on my life, Favor God is on your life. We kingdom connected. Exactly. Now a person that's been doing a whack demo for 10 years, they can get a real quality CD done and mastered. I got people that say, Apostle, I'll master for you, no problem. People that work that produce with bad boy, all kinds of stuff, man. I got you, Paul. Anything you got. And does that mean I just throw them in it? Nope. Because I'm waiting for the manifestation of the sons and does. I where they at? I need some quality because God will give you all a platform. God gave me a global platform. He gave me a huge platform. And, and it's who, who I will, as a son, 
to share that platform with people. I don't care what the industry say. It don't matter. I tell my sons and daughters, when it's your time, it's your time. That's yeah. right. New music come out every Tuesday. It don't matter. It don't matter who come out. Oh, they hot. Media job, and Robert will tell you this, media job tell you what's hot. They got the pen in their ears, they write stuff down. Oh yeah, it's the new thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what do you think about this? That's their job, to be hyped up. But don't you know, God has given you something special. God has already ordained the, pl the, the platform for you. Don't you look at somebody below. Oh, I can never be up there. I know they only bring five to ten artists for the same thing. Gos gospel celebrate all that. Think beyond gospel. I, I get some artists that what you I say, your gift is too big for the church. Um, um, I, 